Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing five products for dry winter skin. So, I don't usually have dry skin, but it has been so, so cold this winter. And I know it's been fluctuating a little bit, like we might have one warm week. But for the most part, it's been very cold. And not just in Michigan, it's been cold all over the country. So, I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to sit down and share some of the products that I've really been gravitating towards now that my skin is very dry and just craving any sort of hydration that it can get. So if you're new to my channel, I upload four days a week, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So for my lips, also, side note, I was mentioning my lip color in the beginning of all my videos for a while there, but I felt like that was so repetitive because I also have it in my description box. So I haven't been saying it recently, but today I'm wearing ColourPop Alyssa topped with Buxom white Russian and I have never tried putting a gloss on top Ugh. I've never tried putting a gloss on top of one of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips and I feel like it's gooping up funny and it's feel, it feels weird so the first product that I want to talk about is the Glossier Prime Rich Moisturizer or no Priming Moisturizer Priming Moisturizer I don't know. so this is a moisturizer and a primer in one so basically it's supposed to just kind of relieve you from one step in your makeup collection. So this is a very, very thick product. It's like, you can kind of see, it's just very, very thick. And it smells, it definitely smells like a skincare product. It doesn't really smell like a makeup product, if that makes sense, if you know, if you know where my brain is going with that. But this is a product that adds so much to your skin. So it's not necessarily one that I gravitate to outside of the winter months because I don't need quite this much and it can be very heavy but right now if you have very very dry skin and you're just looking for something very heavy very moisturizing this is definitely a product I would recommend checking out not only to help deliver that moisture but also because it's so convenient to have two steps in one you have your moisturizer and your primer this next product is one I did not expect to like at all really this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector so this, you're like, wait, how is this a winter month product? But hear me out. So this is a color correcting under eye concealer. So it applies like a, so it applies like a peachy pink tone, but it's very subtle. It's not a super bright um, color corrector. And normally I'm not really into color correcting because I feel like it's just an extra unnecessary step. But this I love because this is so like wet and moisturizing. So when I first got this and I dipped my finger into it, I expected it to be kind of dry, which is how I feel most cream products are. They're just heavy and dry. Where this is a little bit more on the liquidy side, I don't even want to say liquidy because it makes it seem like it's really thin. Like it still is a cream, but it's a very moisturizing cream, if that makes sense. And I feel like it does so much for my under eyes. Whether I wear it alone, which I actually am today, I just put a little bit of this on my under eyes and then set it and I didn't need to put on concealer. Or if I put this on first and put my concealer over top of it, not only does it help to color correct, but it also is so moisturizing and makes my concealer look better. So if you have dry under eyes, this is a nice product because it gives you like a layer of moisture to put on before your concealer or you can just wear this. And this is not something I would have expected to like, to be honest, but I've been wearing it pretty much every single day this winter. Next, my go-to lip product right now, I've mentioned this already, but this is the Glossier Balm.com. So this is a $12 lip balm, and I'm thinking, okay, that is way too expensive for a lip balm, but trust me when I say this lasts forever. So you could buy a couple, you could buy three Burt's Bees chapsticks at $4 a piece, or you could buy this $12 thing and they're gonna last the same amount of time. If not, I kind of think this might last you even longer because I still have a ton of product left and yeah, I have only used up this much and I use this a couple times a day, every single day and I've been using it for months. This is the best chapstick. It is so thick and it's, it's kind of heavy so keep that in mind. If you don't necessarily like something a little bit oily on your lips, this might be too heavy for you. But for me, with crusty winter lips, like this is one of the few products that I've found that actually helps my lips. And you, I've used it on my elbows, you can use it on your cuticles, I've used it there too. It's basically just a universal salve, but my favorite use for it is on my lips. 
right now in the winter. The next product is the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. So this has hyaluronic acid and black oat inside of it. So this is a nice hydrating spray. So I like to use this on days when I'm just like lounging on the house on the weekends and I'm not wearing makeup. I will just every, basically every time I walk into my bathroom, I will spray this on my face because it helps keep moisture in your skin and it helps hydrate your skin, but it's not heavy because it is a facial mist. So it doesn't leave you with like a greasy residue on your face. It's just really calming. So not only is it enjoyable, I'm like a facial mist lover. I just love the process of applying facial mist, but I feel like, I genuinely feel like it adds moisture back into my skin. So you can use it, like I said, on days when you're not wearing makeup and just spray it all over your face throughout the day. Or it's a nice product to put on at night before you put your moisturizer on. It helps to add additional hydration. So you can layer it on top of other skincare products or use it on its own. But either way, this is a really great hydrating wintertime product. And the last product to mention is just good old rosehip oil. So I've mentioned many times on my channel that I hydrate my skin with rosehip oil. I don't use any sort of like a moisturizer. I mean, I do. This is my moisturizer. But this is all that I use. So I will take two to three drops in my hand every morning and at night, warm it together in my hands and press it into my skin and down my neck. And this is so hydrating, but because it's a dry oil, it sinks into your skin pretty quickly. So it's not going to be like you have coconut oil on your face. And if you touch it, you have a residue. Like if you give it a little bit of time, it will sink into your skin. And it's just super, super hydrating. I raved about rosehip oil so many times on my channel, so I don't want to go too in-depth, but trust me when I say it has transformed my, skin, transformed my skin ever since I put it in my skincare routine. I used to have acne scarring on my cheeks that have completely faded from using this product every single day. I highly, highly, highly recommend it, not only in the wintertime, but just all the time. Like, I'm just a rosehip oil believer. But that is going to go ahead and complete this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.